Hello crafters, it's Celine here. I'm gonna give you guys a second to go and find us and get logged in. And I'll share the video over to the creative group so hopefully most of you can find us. Oh my goodness, let's see. There I am. When you're here, please let me know that you're here with a comment. Hopefully I'll see you guys getting popped on here in a minute. Sometimes it takes a moment to uh, find everybody here. Share. As you may or may not know, I share this video into a group every single week where um, we also share all kinds of things. And it's not just me sharing. There's a whole bunch of people that make cards and share in there. So um, if you're not part of my creative community, it is Creating with Celine, And you can search for it on Facebook or you can send me a message and I'll Give you a link to it. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I am just home from vacation and today is a two for Tuesday. Usually I do a class on Valentine's Day every year and this year I'm not going to. This year it's tonight, the day before Valentine's Day. Um, it is featuring uh, some really wonderful cards and some brand new fun folds uh, that one just came out of my noggin, which is pretty cool. I love when stuff like that happens. It was inspired by something I saw, but um, it was actually my idea. It was cool. Ah, dropping stuff on the floor. Um, so I do have some sneak peeks for you today. So if you don't like sneak peeks and you don't want to see any product until it comes out in March, make sure you just block your eyes right now or scroll right off if you, if you don't want to see a sneak peek. But who doesn't like sneak peeks, right? If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order some of these products. Um, and of course, the glass mat is still up for grabs for people who are not demonstrators. They can get their own glass mat when they sign up to be a demonstrator on my team or on yours if they're your friends and customers. Um, well, um, so tonight is gonna be really fun and I'm looking forward to it. And while I was away on vacation, I did um, started posting swap cards that I received over the month, and you guys loved them. Um, this first project that I want to do got over 70,000 views on Facebook when I posted um, Deborah's card. Oh, I guess I should get the original cards. Yeah, let's do that. So just talk amongst yourselves for a second, and I will go grab the stack of swap cards. Because um, a point of reference is good. Uh, here we go. In particular, I mean, we have all of them right here, but in particular, here are the two that I'm featuring today because you guys asked me how to make them. Hi, Barbara. Good to see you. I saw Barbara on the cruise ship last week. Oh, what a great time we all had. So this is one of them. This is the one that got 70,000 views. Craziness, right? This is uh, by Deborah Ryder, and she demonstrated this at our team meeting on Sunday. She had never done a video tutorial and she's like, I don't know where to point my camera. How do I get it so people can see me? And the team welcomed her with open arms. Uh, we also had Trish uh, who, who demonstrated for the first time. She had never done a tutorial with anybody and she learned at our team meeting. It was so fun. It, it had the energy of convention. Um, I think everybody in the room shared something this month. It was just fantastic. If you're looking for a vibrant, creative community that meets monthly, you want a discount on your products, maybe you want a small business, hit me up, let me know, I'm here. And um, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with my team on Mondays. I am just uh, looking, I have to, after this video, I have to go look and see for uh, one of my team members who was asking me today on starting clubs. So. Um, there's something for everybody. This is Robin's card. Isn't it amazing? So I've never made one of these, but I printed out the directions that she wrote up on a much smaller piece of paper. And good thing I have my glasses. If I forget where they are, just remind me that they're on top of my head. And um, this starts with a book binding fold um, like this, right? And then um, it's actually called the one, two, three Z fold. And I'm assuming that's because it sort of makes a Z or I don't know. It looks like a, 
a chair. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, we'll figure out how to make it together and I'm gonna start from scratch. So that being said, I'm not gonna use the same exact products they used. Both of these designer papers are in the main catalog. Um, so if you're looking to find them, that page is in the back and then all the colors to match are there. Robin used some mini catalog uh, dies. These are from the Thoughtful Expressions and we're gonna be using those dies tonight at the free online workshop. If you haven't signed up for that online workshop, all you have to do is put yourself in the group. There's an event at the top of this page. If you can't find it when we get off, I will put a link to the workshop. I'll, I'll actually post a reminder and put the link in the comments. So um, yeah, that's at six o'clock tonight, three hours from now. Isn't that fun? Oh, thank you, Linda. I'm so glad that you're here. So I got home from vacation and I've been busy prepping club. Oh my gosh, you should see the piles of cardstock. I did post them, um, but I'm still die cutting because I'm going to be die cutting a lot for this one. It's probably going to take me all week. Um, but that's okay. I love my club. Um, and when I get home, I got some pre-order paper in the mail flowering zinnias. Isn't that pretty? Oh, hey, Tracy. So good to see you. Ah, losing my glasses here. I, that's a new thing. I turned 50 this year and I now need glasses. Anybody else? Cheers. To, I'm the 1.0 club now. Um, so when I did a quick search, I went, well, so I don't have to search anywhere. I can look on the back of the designer paper and it tells me um, what colors are in the designer paper pack. So before we got online, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to grab some thick white and some black, right? And then I started going. I was like, oh, there's a ton of color in this paper pack. Like, look at all the different colors. And there's even ones that I didn't grab. There's a couple of, um, there's another green that I didn't get. It's like craziness. But let's flip the camera and I'll show you the paper first and we'll get a better close up if I flip it, I think. We'll get rid of the plastic here. Oh, gotta get my recycle bin in the right spot. Kicking it old school with my foot. All right, let's get, the, let's get this under the table. Whoop. And in case you were wondering, my stamp room is in the garage. I have a she cave and I'm happy with it. We, uh. Nope, nope, you're good, you're good. Give me one second, I just had to flip the camera and I didn't want to make it woozy. You're good. Okay, so, see when I get cold, I get weepy. My... All right, so flowering zinnias, we have, oh, let me get the glasses for this. Berry burst, ooh, I lost the video too. Here, let's see, blackberry bliss. Flirty Flamingo, Highland Heather, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly. Ooh, I would have wanted to grab that one. I might need to go get it. Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pumpkin Pie, and Real Red. That is a lot of colors. Um, so I did go through and grab some of them, but I probably should have grabbed more. All right, so now I can get your comments again. We got our little cutting mat. We have the two cards that we're gonna recreate and I'm gonna recreate them in, of course, other colors. So, this is the Blackberry Bliss and Highland Heather, I'm guessing. So pretty, and then here's the back side of that pattern. And then um, we've got Old Olive and Mossy Meadow, I think. Well, oh wow, there's a lot of patterns in there. Can't you see like an ear of corn? This would be cute if you had like a corn cob. Corn fields, farming, so spring-like or summer. It's actually very summery. And then um, real red, I'm gonna say real red and melon mambo. Let me see. This is melon mambo. I guess it's more real red, huh? So the real red is here. Okay, so that's a dead hit. And then the other side is oh, more Real Red Melon Mambo. Look at that. All right, so that's a pretty cool combination. I would never put those two together. And I think that's pretty well done. It's, it's real dark though, so um, 
there's a pre some pretty vibrant colors in this pack. This is petal pink, which is definitely more peach. It definitely matches my skin tone. My friend Deb Carlene said she wanted to order a Celine marker. I was like, what's that? She's like, it's the one that's the same color as you. So that's those two. And, oh, I'm not seeing the chat. Hang on, I want to make sure that I'm able to see your comments. So many crazy. Hey, Mary Jo, good to see you, my friend. Ah, like, so I'm, it says no comments yet when I look at the overview. Ugh. Never, never dull this technology business. Oh, live chat overview, my replies, more like this. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm just fiddling in this silly, it, like it's not showing me your comments. I'm going to have to actually go out of the video so I can watch, see your comments come through. All right. So this one, isn't this pretty? You could cut the paper at six and half and then build your little card snippets from there. Um... And then that one, they are beautiful. Uh, this one's mainly, I think, pump, pump, bleh, pumpkin pie. Um, that color is here to give you an idea on the match. And I'm guessing that's the lemon lolly right there in the middle. Now I am noticing in most of these patterns, just first observation, cause I really didn't even, like I showed my team at the meeting, but I didn't really have a chance to sit creatively and look at it. There's lemon lolly in this one, in this one. That might be more like lemon lime twist. Lemon lolly is in this one. It's in the center of that with pumpkin. Interesting. So that's a pretty prominent color throughout a lot of the patterns. There's that lemon lime twist again that I didn't grab. And I'm guessing that's old olive with it. It did have me pull um, Mossy Meadow as well. And of course, oh, there it is. So there's the Mossy Meadow and the old olive beside it to give you a point of reference. Oh, I hope you're still seeing the video okay. Let me know if you're still here. I appreciate that. Oh, now I can see your comments. Yay, even better. Okay, so. Let me know if you're doing okay, okay? So um, just give me a hey-ho or a shout or a I'm still here or any of that. If you don't feel like typing, you can just type a letter in. <laughs> All right. Hey, Linda. Okay, I see you, Linda Carver. I think that's right. Okay. It's weird. It's coming through like, oh, like yesterday's comments. Gotta love it. Nine minutes ago. Oh my goodness gracious. One minute ago. All good. Thank you, Mary Jo. I got you. Comments are at the bottom. Bizarre. Okay, so the pinwheel card. So let's take a look at this. Oh, look, she even did a strip of designer paper at the bottom here. I think that's a nice touch for the inside, don't you? Um, I have some white that's already cut to five by three and three quarters. So I typically keep some of that on hand. Uh, and I keep like f quarter sheets too, five and a quarter by four on hand, but this is already cut down to five by three and three quarters. So I don't need to cut that layer. Um, I guess we should decide which pattern we're gonna use for our squares first. And I'll tell you, Deborah, she thought that this pattern was so busy that she didn't want to see a pattern on a pattern. It was too busy for her eyes. So she said that she put cardstock, solid cardstock on that instead. Um, so let's pick a pattern. Um, I kind of like the busier one for this. Um, here. I think I want the one that's got like all color. So um, hang on, let me see if I can. Well, this one is pretty, so we can use this one or this one. So I'm gonna give you guys some choices. You tell me if you would prefer um, A with the, with the line down the middle or B, and, and while you guys are deciding A or B, I'm gonna cut a card base. And as I'm looking at these, I'm saying both of them have lemon lolly, but 
I think I'm going to start in the purple family because they both have purple too. And do I have one of those here? Yep. So there's Highland Heather to match. And we can just cut our card base down. So we'll score it in half at four and a quarter. I love this term because there's a line on the quarter inch marker and it goes all the way up and down. So um, I'm sorry if you can't see that I'm at four and a quarter on one side or the other, but there it is, four and a quarter and there's the line. And I am up against the fence on the other side of the paper. What do I mean by the fence? I call this hard surface or this hard surface on the paper trimmer where I can push up against to make sure that it doesn't go crooked, the fence, and then I can score my paper. And that just makes a mark in the cardstock. The score blade is the lighter one, um, so I can get that one out of the way, and then I'm gonna flip it the other way and we'll cut it in half at five and a half. Stampin' Up's trimmer, if you go all the way to the fence, is six. Five and a half is this big long line where the ruler comes out. So we could pull this ruler out if we had a bigger piece to cut, but we're cutting at five and a half. And this one is designed with card makers in mind because we use these measurements all the time. And I will cut at five and a half, just like that. Okay. So, so far it looks like A is in the lead. So we're looking to see which one we wanna make the pinwheel with. This is A and this is B. Okay, uh, while you guys are still deciding that, I'm gonna cut one more layer. We need our layer that is this lighter layer, um, five and a quarter by four. And I'm kind of wheeling through these quick because you guys know these measurements if you've been with me for any length of time. If you're new to stamping, well, welcome. But these are both five and a quarter by four. And then these are five by three and three quarter. Um, and they layer on pretty easily. So that's the same layers that my friend did, my friend Debbie did, okay? So we can move that for a second and we're gonna come back to your comments. And we have, looks like A1. So I'm gonna put um, pattern B away and we're gonna come back to this. Hey, Trisha, I am cutting that paper that you were using this week. All right, I'm gonna cut a one and a quarter inch strip off of this. And all the way down. What's that? Measure twice, cut once, one and a quarter. Now, if you want to cheat, you can cut one and a quarter and then cut one and a quarter inch squares. Or if you have an old square punch like I do, this is a very old punch, you could just go down the line and punch out four squares. And that's way easier for the time's sake, right? All right. And then I want a coordinating color, so I'm gonna go back to that blackberry that Trisha was using and cut four. One is way easier than cutting, isn't it? I know, I wish we had those again. Maybe we can get Stampin' Up to do them. And you know, a lot of people are making these pinwheel cards again since um, they're kind of popping up online again. I have to say this technique is an older technique. I did it when I was a new stamper, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so now we need a contrasting color. So a color to kind of matte. So because we did, let's go back to that purple. And of course I don't have another one on the table, but that's okay. I need two pieces that are two and five eighths. So let's grab the trimmer. So what is two and five eighths? Trisha, I'm gonna apologize right now. This is the paper, yes, Barbara. So 
Barbara's asking if this is the new online exclusive paper. I, you missed it when I said block your eyes if you don't want to see a sneak peek. It absolutely is the online exclusives. So what is two and five eighths? Well, if you are at two and four eighths, that's two and a half. So you go to two and a half and two and five eighths is two more lines on your trimmer. So um, here's the two and a half inch marker that goes all the way up and then there's two and three quarter. It's halfway in between. So two lines over on your paper cutter is two and five eighths. I know five eighths kind of trips some folks up. Just wait till we get to the 16th. <laughs> Not for this card, luckily. All right, so two and five eighths again. Again, it's halfway between the half inch mark and the three quarter inch mark. So two squares, two and five eighths each. It's like, did I do that wrong? Yes, I did. Look at that, I cut it wrong. Ha. Don't watch me. Two and five eighths. I did two and seven, or two and seven eighths. That was special. That's okay, though. We'll cut it again, and it's still going to work. So both of these are two and five eighths. I wish I had a pen right here. Yeah, I do. So if you're um, watching the video back, you can pause this right now. And then the squares are um, one and one quarter. Okay, so the big squares, and so there are eight big squares, small, and I'm sorry, there are eight small squares, and then there are two big squares. Okay, so that's our measurements. No 16s, right? <laughs> Stop yelling out numbers. <laughs> so funny. All right, oh, my glue disappeared. Why is it that when you go live, things just disappear from your box? I have my little toolkit thing that my daughter made me. And um, this side specifically holds glue dots. And when they're brand new, this side is specifically for a seal. This one is for my glue that I hold upside down. And... My tape runner is missing. I must have walked away with it. I'm good like that. Oh, and what do you know? Wow. That's all kinds of special. Well, it's a good thing I have about 9,000 dispensers open. Now I can show you how to replace a refill. <laughs> That's why this is on the live, right? On the fly. So we're just gonna cut this open. And um, this one's a mess, huh? There are two sides, and this side has like little notches in it. I make sure that if um, it's open, I clean out any goobers, because sometimes they get glue goobers, and that can cause issues if you're using your seal um, with it sticking on the next batch, right? Where does you take your pick go? It, it goes in here. Oh, it's not here, but yeah, it goes right in there. <laughs> well, I had Brian fix my take your pick tool because um, the week that I was going away, and I mean, literally I did my video and then I was out the door that day. Um, my I replaced the tip of my take your pick and then I, yeah, then it got separated and he had to fix it, so. I have him take care of that stuff. He's pretty good. He fixes like big shots and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, I digress. Here's an important thing. Um, so you want to have some sort of grid paper down and you can see that I have my glass mat going and um, I'm going to take just a little bit of adhesive and tack it in any of these squares. I just want, I, you know what I really want? I want this to be in the middle. Maybe I should put it on the ruler, huh? If I do that, you're gonna be out of the frame though, so hang on. I'm just gonna go like that. So the idea is, is to use the grid to line this up so it's nice and straight. And you could make a template if you wanted to, but I'm so over this. <laughs> That's why you're supposed to practice. You know, I um, haven't done this technique and I don't know how long. Okay, so I just 
lined it up on my grid here because the, these grid lines are a little different so that it's, um, that looks better. So now I have a square on top of a, of a diamond or a diamond on top of a square, whichever way you want to look at it. Then I'm going to take these and flip them over. And I'm only going to put adhesive at the top. So um, one little dot on each one. You don't need a lot of adhesive for this. So then you start in one corner like that and you work your way around. So you just lay this on one piece at a time. Looks, it looks like really difficult, but it's not. I could have put a little more on that one. Just a dot, Olivia. <sighs> so if you're not busy later on, I have a workshop that's completely prepped. I did it with for my team meeting on Sunday. It has a brand new fun fold that was so fun to design and put together. Oh, wrong one. So you gotta alternate. I almost uh, grabbed the wrong color. You can see how easy these go together and they're just so beautiful. Now there is a little trick when you get to the last one and we'll get there in a second. And I guess I could put a little more adhesive on that one. If you see that they're being fun funky, you can do whatever, but just don't mess with the first one. The first one you need to be able to get under it. So here's my last piece of designer paper. So this last piece is going to go under the first one and over the last one. So on top, just like the other ones were, right? But it's going to tuck under here, which is why you don't want too much adhesive on the first piece. And it just takes a second to get it under there and you're good to go. Okay. Wow, that's pretty. So this is that new um, online exclusive paper that you'll be able to get in March. If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order it now. So let's see what we got here. It's so cool. Ready to take your pick go. It does go, it goes in the slot. <laughs> it does fit there. Just, I have a ruler in there. I have my tear and tape in there. I have a bone folder in there. Which one do we want for the middle of this? You guys tell me, the pink or the green, because the base is going to be purple. So while we um, kind of wheel that out, I got some new stamp sets. Um, so first of all, this is a sneak peek. So if, if you don't like sneak peeks, don't look. <laughs> um, there's no good card for this. Um, I wish I could make this better. I don't always have the right words to say. I do have lots of love to give. Thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. I hope this is a feeling better kind of day. Wishing you comfort. Um, my absolute favorite. <laughs> I don't know if I, am I, am I allowed to say that on, uh, on air. I don't know, but I love it. Um, and it's long overdue. We needed a stamp set that said this. I love this. But I don't think it's quite right for a pinwheel card because this is kind of a happy so but I still want to come back to that maybe we'll make something with that um celebrate wishing love you comfort and strength you are incredible you did that now this is a little um like if you look at the front cover it looks like those words are really small but when you open it up they're they're actually kind of big so like celebrate would take the whole bottom of the card wishing isn't far off um and then, um, of course, there's the new, or there will be the new Sweetly Scripted. This is part of my pre-order that just came in. Um, happy birthday. Isn't that funny? I wonder if, um, nah, I guess it wouldn't. We could, we could like put the happy birthday that way, but I think we'll just go right across the middle. What do you think? All right, so I grabbed H blocks. I hope that's long enough. And I'm gonna have to grab the ribbon, uh, the um, ink because I wasn't sure what we were gonna use. So 
There you go. That is way too long. So I'm going to grab the bigger block. And while I'm right there, I can grab my ink pen. Oh. And I am going to throw some blocks on the floor. Put a piece of paper underneath my station so that um, I don't get my, because I don't want my chamois over there. <laughs> All right, so we get the longer block. So this is actually block I, and it does um, go the length. I don't really need to ink the whole thing up because I'm going to use just the um, a three and three quarter inch section of it. Should we stick it right in the middle, the happy birthday, or should we go off to the side? What do you think? You tell me. I'll wait for a minute for your um, comments to come through before I actually stamp that. And while I'm waiting, I can stick a couple pieces together. Here's the other card base that I didn't cut up. I really am drawn to these purples in here, so that's kind of cool. It's been a while since I've used Blackberry Bliss. Here we go. Off to the side, middle. Anybody want to break the tie? I'm waiting for one person. Right now we're tied. Off to the side, middle. Going, going. Well, let me pick a, um, a center for this while I'm waiting. I'm seeing pink. I'm going to go with the pink for that. Oh, so pretty. Oh, ta -da. All right, well, here we go. Where it lands, nobody knows. So I'm gonna ink up this way, corner to corner, and not worry about getting the edges because I know that I'm gonna be off the paper anyway. And I, yeah, I wanna go that way, but where's the ink? A little bit off to the side. Ugh, is that not cool? Oh, now I want to take this and turn it. <laughs> Anybody who is like spatially like has to be perfect centered is probably like cringing right now. Like, what do you mean? So pretty. Okay, so here we go. So that's a pinwheel card. So really it breaks down to two big squares at two and five eighth, and um, then one and a quarter inch squares. Now, whether you decide to put pattern on pattern or you decide to do a solid color pattern like um, my team member, Deborah, that's up to you. I liked the solid, I thought it, um, it makes, it gives your your eye a place to rest and it really finishes the pinwheel pretty. Um, here we go. And I do need loads of birthday cards. So this would be an easy and fast way to make them. I, I actually send out my February birthdays to my team today. Um, I send one to every team member on their birthday. Just nice to get something in the mail and, you know, make sure you, you, you let people know how much you, they mean to you. All right, so there's a couple of, um, of those gems to go with. All right, so I'm gonna move on and we're gonna go on to Robin's card. Dun, 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 can I do it? <laughs> we'll see. All right, so. Um, let me go back to the original. She said that there was an original video by this lady, Paper Crafting Playdate, and um, we have to choose a base color. So we'll start with that. And I'm going to use the same paper because I think it's beautiful and it's on the table. Um, and she made a birthday card. Um, 
And again, these dies are from the same dies that we're going to use on the workshop tonight, which is cool. Um, so the item numbers for that will all be posted um, when I get off the studio, actually. That's the next thing I'm going to do is post the supply list over there. Um, but let's take a look. So this is, starts off with a book binding fold. And recently, I made a book binding fold that turned into a gift card holder just by adding um, tear and tape at the top and bottom and leaving this open. So under here, you could have a gift card and easily um, have a, a pull-out spot that you can write on underneath. Um, just for fun, I'm going to, and because it's looking at me here, I'm going to pull in this color, Pretty Peacock. Before we got on today, I grabbed a few sheets of the colors that match this paper. If you missed it, I did in the beginning what they all are. But um, before I cut, I want to make two card bases. So I'm going to do all my scoring first. So I'm going to score on the long side. And I need to get my score blade, right? The lighter one. And I'm going to score at two and one eighth. So that's you go to the number two and then you go over two lines to get to your eighth inch mark. Four and a quarter, which we use all the time. And five and a half. And then I'm going to cut this in half at four and a quarter the long way. And that's going to be our card base. And again, if you need a screenshot, here you go. I don't know. I, can you get the whole thing in? <laughs> there's one, there's two. I think that, I think that whole thing is in there now. I think that's the best. Okay. So then, um, here we go. I got my nice bright card bases and that's the book bind part. Okay. So I know what I'm doing there. Now I need to cut two pieces at four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm guessing that those are the pieces that we decorate. So if you were making a bunch of these, um, you can get six of this layer out of one sheet of paper if you cut it down the middle at four and a quarter first, and then you cut at three and a quarter um, twice. So I, you're right, I'm gonna do two pieces of paper at once, because why not? So that's two pieces for our two cards, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, now designer paper. She said one and a quarter, uh, well, she said one by four, two by four, and three by four, white for the sentiment, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna wait to decorate it. Um, oh, well, I guess one by four would be here, right? So um, where's that paper we just punched out of? Here it is. So how about if we go, because we're making two cards, right? So we'll go, um, we'll cut it two first. You're probably wondering why I'm cutting it two, but I'm gonna cut it two. And then I wanna cut this in the middle so that I get that, um, that white space at the top, which I really like. And then I'm gonna cut it down to four. So I'm gonna cut the extra flower off the bottom. And then I'll cut it in half at one and then I'll have my one by fours. So those one by fours are gonna stick here. on the front. I love on the fly. It really forces me to get out of my comfort zone, but like, honestly, I'm trying this as we go. I don't know if I pick the right base color. Like, to me, that color is not in there, even though it looks like it was when I went to cut it. I think I wanna take a pause and make another card base. 
And I can put another thing on that. So I'm gonna hold those off to the side and put stick them to my table for a second and make another card base. Um, I know that I saw Lemon Lolly in there, so why don't we switch from pink and go to yellow? Uh, let me just grab the paper. It's all fun and games until your pinks don't match. I love this. You guys are all over the country. Washington State, New York. San Bernardino, California. Happy, happy. Bet it's warm in California. All right, so two and an eighth. I'm distractible, huh? So we get to do it again. Two and an eighth, four and a quarter. So they do go together pretty fast, huh? And five and a half. And that five and a half line is the long line on the end again, right? And then we'll cut it in half to make our card base. You've already seen it, so I'll just go through it, you know? All right, so let's see if we can get this to look better. I didn't love the um, the other pink. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Woo! That's better. I like that a lot. Oh, I should have grabbed more yellow, though, because I'm going to need those panels. We had... um. The panel's at four and a quarter by three and a quarter, huh? That's not right. Here we go. So that's the first bit, one by four. And I'm just cutting scraps out of my paper that I chopped the squares out of, right? Wow. I wouldn't imagine that the Blackberry Bliss and that the Lemon Lolly would marry up so well. So maybe rather than cut the um four and a quarter by three and a quarter out of the lemon lolly maybe we'll cut it out of the blackberry so let's bring that trimmer back in um, a little work on one side well i suppose we'll just make one for now then four and a quarter but th that's great though i mean like when do you see me using scraps usually i'm i'm kind of bad about scraps and a quarter. Oh, and we could do it the other way. So ready? We can still get three and a quarter by four and a quarter out of this. Ah, maybe. Three and a quarter. So tonight, my friend Cheryl is going to be joining me. She's going to moderate your comments so that if I miss anything, that you'll be able to ask me anything about crafting after the live. So um, if you have crafting questions, I'm willing to go on the fly again tonight. Lemon Lily is a happy color. All right, I wanna go back to Robin's sample to see what she did to adhere this. So she folded this piece forward like that and then attach this piece to the front. So the question is, do we want to leave, oh, and it go, it overlaps a little bit too. Do we want to leave this as Blackberry Bliss or do we want to cut more Lemon Lolly for the front? So you tell me, you can, you can uh, vote just by saying LL or BB in the comments. Do you want to leave the Blackberry Bliss and attach like that and then decorate, or do you want more lemon lolly? That starts at 6 p.m. in that online um, workshop group. I can post when we're done. I'll post the graphic to remind folks. Thanks, Val. So LL or BB, just let me know. Um, I guess I could be doing something else while I'm waiting. I do like this pattern. So she said, um, one by four, two by four, three by four. I'm gonna guess that the three by four is what goes on this panel. So we're already working with this pattern. I'm gonna just go for it and cut a four inch piece. But before I do that, I wanna trim it down a little so I get some of that white. So um, Lemon Lolly, Blackberry Bliss, which one are we gonna attach this to? I'm just waiting on your answer. 
And while you're doing that, I'm cutting paper so we can stay all caught up. So this is gonna end up being four by three. I'm gonna cut it at six first. So I don't have to take it out of the trimmer again and then cut it at three. Now we get two pieces. Do one of each. All right, let me go get some lemon lolly then. Ruth, you called it. I'm gonna get another sheet of lemon lolly. And I neglected my coffee. Can you believe that? I had to I had to get up, so I'm getting my coffee. <sighs> Keeps me sane. Okay. Ta-da. So anybody remember what this was? It's four and a quarter by going to take me a second to get there so I'll wait for you but four and a quarter by three and a quarter on that measurement okay so now I have one of each four and a quarter by three and a quarter I feel like I'm dealing cards at the casino I was on the ship too long maybe <laughs> All right, I just put my, my uh, paper trimmer behind the monitor, so just keep in mind. Um, you're gonna have to remind me what I did with it. That's right, Barbara. Four and a quarter by three and a quarter, so I'm gonna put one on the Blackberry Bliss, and I'm gonna put one on the Lemon Lolly. I guess we don't need to vote if we're making both. That's funny. So before I go any further, I'm gonna do the book binding fold. Now I need two cards, and I know these are nice and bright, but unfortunately I need a sympathy card from my friend James who lost his mom this week. Um, he uh, has had a horrible time lately and I wanna make him a bereavement card um, and a special one. And it is also my nephew, John Joseph's 21st birthday on the 19th. So um, I wanna make him a birthday card. I know this is a floral, I might have to go make him another one. But I wanna show you the idea of turning a book binder into a gift card holder. And it's just as simple as not putting too much glue. So I'm going top and bottom on this book binding, which is um, the first score mark there. And then I'll be able to tuck a gift card in or not when I put the card together. Oh, now I really need my take your pick tool. Oh. But the trick to getting under that tear and tape is not to go under the middle. And I'm using my scissors because um, my Brian put my take your pick tool back together yesterday and I swear it made my tool caddy, but it's not there. So it's apparently I'm mistaken. So um, just the top and bottom to seal that down. But before I do that, I'm gonna get a couple of white pieces. So um, these are already cut. I, I always have white quarter sheets on hand. This is five and a quarter by four. And I'm gonna attach this inside my card. I see some people struggle with this. When you go to stick a card down, no matter what you've cut the other side to, if three sides are right, it's gonna look good. So you get these three small sides right, and then you lay it down. If you've cut your paper right, it's gonna look good. If you haven't, on this particular fold, it's not gonna matter, because you'll fold it down, and nobody's gonna know. Um, so there it is, that's that piece, okay? So now I can, adhere this on top, which means that my adhesive is gonna go here. So this is the one, two, three Z fold. And I like 
this, but I, um, it's bugging me that the lemon lolly is showing top and bottom a little bit. And it's a tiny bit crooked, I think. Hang on, let's see if I can fix it. I need a little hot air here. <sighs> oh, only when you're live. There we go. All better. I did put it on crooked. Let's try. Try again. Takes just a minute to make it straight again, and it's worth every minute. So at this point, um, if you did have a gift card holder, that's too big. That's kind of a good, good size. So you can see, you could slide it in here and tuck it. Um, and actually, it's kind of cool. We could make a little strip to tuck in there too, to finish the inside like Deb did on her first card. Okay, so there's that. And then um, the lemon lolly one. Going ballistic. So if you have any burning questions after that live class tonight, let me know. And um, it could end up, you know, being a whole nother live video next Tuesday, or it could be that I answer you on the fly tonight. I'll make sure that I have plenty of caffeine. Oop, almost forgot my white. All right, so here's the five and a quarter by four. Kind of want to get that in there before I stick my book binding down, yeah? So I'm just paying attention to these three sides. I don't, it doesn't matter where that one falls. There we go. I do like the yellow on yellow better, and I think it's just because of that one line. But I could put this on my guillotine cutter and trim it just to make sure it's nice and clean. Hmm. So pretty. Okay, so that leaves us with this section. That's why we needed the two by four, but I think I wanna pick a different pattern for that. We got our card bases all done the, for the one, two, three Z. I haven't done my sentiments yet, but we'll get there. I'm gonna move this paper over. Kinda clean up just a little so I can find the table. and pick another pattern here. So we did this pattern um, quite a bit. I think I want something more solid. How about this one? And this one is just gonna go like, when you open the card, it's gonna sit back here kind of quiet. And I like that it's, um, it's pink and red, but who would think that that would make like such a beautiful monochromatic thing? I'm digging this paper. I can imagine you'll be seeing more of this for me. This is my first time playing with it. So we needed a two by four. So I'm going to cut this down to two first. And I'm going to open the arm. Open the arm. There's not really enough room on my table to op open the arm, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry that you can't see the, the um, ruler, but you're just going to have to... Well, I guess you can, huh? Good. All right, so I'm going to cut this at 8 and then at 4. So I have three pieces that are 2 by 4. And those are just for the back side of here. And you know, honestly, you could you could double up if you wanted to, but I think that's good. Just one. Looks like a nice contrasting color. And again, real red and melon mambo in the paper. Would you ever do that? And then putting it up against lemon lolly, it's so bizarre like but it, it just finishes that inside on that flap.
this isn't going to make a great masculine birthday, is it? <laughs> My poor nephew would be like, what? What are you doing? I'm going to have to make him a different card. That's okay. But I do think it's, it's a beautiful sympathy card. I'm going to stand up for a minute. I have an old guillotine cutter from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to just trim my card base. So give me one second. Hopefully I don't kill the card. I just needed to not see that um, that yellow on the top and the bottom. It, it's much better now. Okay, so there's that. Let me pull in that stamp we used before. And then we're going to need a cleaner. So that's the, the first card we made today using the book binding fold. I mean, I'm sorry, the pinwheel only do one technique a day but where you guys were so excited and asking questions I was all over it now for the sympathy card should we use the purple or the yellow You tell me. There's 20 of you here, so maybe somebody can tell me which one they like better. And comfort and strength. Wishing you comfort. <laughs> I'm going for the, there is no good card for this. My friend has been through so much. Purple? Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. Done. So I'm going to... Um... <sighs> Locate the Blackberry Bliss Ink Pad that I just had. <laughs> I have a new um, sign on my craft room wall that somebody sent me that said... Uh, that says... Crafting is the art of searching for items you had two seconds ago. Yeah, I just stamped with that. I think that's really pretty. Um, it's not with my trimmer. Wow. Well, perhaps I'm not stamping it in purple. Anybody see it? <laughs> oh my God, what a mess. stash. I don't know what I did with the first ink pad, but here we go. We have another one. I do have two or three of every stamp pad because I do in-person events, larger in-person events now, and sometimes the cards will need, you know, an ink pad or two at the stations. Wow. That is just beautiful. Okay. I, you know what? I think they both need the same one. Wow. What a powerful sentiment, huh? All right, let's bring in that bling. I think I want to go for the yellow. Just because it's... Keep going. You know I am. Three or five. <laughs> it's so hard to put them down though. Yeah, so um sympathy. And it leaves me in a firm to um write. I really like those. Wow. Oop. 
And it would be easier if I had my take your pick, you're right. But I don't know where, what I did with it. it. I'm sure I'll run across it before the workshop tonight again. I'm already set up for the workshop because I have everything from the tea meeting. There, I used the same projects this month. All right. So if you're not on my email list, know that you can get on. I'll, I'll put a link um, in the comments. It's uh, the best way to keep in touch and know what's going on. But what do you think? You like these? Anyway, I will... Um, be back here well not here I'll be on that group here on the group for the online workshop at six o'clock my friend Cheryl is gonna help moderate and um, hopefully if you're around we will see you uh, yeah the fold is really cool and the, and the directions help a lot so um, you know at one point I held up the directions and you can just screenshot it, it really helps so Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you here on Tuesday at 3 o'clock next week. But um, tonight, I have a special online workshop uh, with a make and take option. So um, make sure you join us. And I'll post a link right after I get off with the link to that group so that you can get there if you need to. Have a great night. Talk to you soon.